Hey everybody, this is Juan Martinez of the Easyville Network, and we have got boxes. Uh, Spider-Man boxes to be specific. Uh, we've got two Fleer Ultra Spider-Man boxes to break today, but they're a little bit different. Why? Because one was made in 1995, and one was made in 2017. That's right. We've got the 1995 Fleer Ultra Spider-Man, still sealed, and we've got the recently released Fleer Ultra Spider-Man, 2017 made by Upper Deck. So for those of you who don't know, Fleer used to be a trading card company uh, during the 90s and uh, the early 2000s, uh, but they were eventually went through some financial issues and then they were bought out by Upper Deck. The brand lease was bought out by Upper Deck and they've been producing Fleer cards ever since. But this, what we've got here is an original actually made by the Fleer company back in 1995. And this is, well, Upper Deck's take on Fleer's set. So, found this, this box in particular, at a uh, liquor store uh, out where near I live. And it was surprising to me because they've got this shop that is like straight out of 1995. The prices are all the same. The boxes are all the same. Nothing seems to be like past 1996. It's kind of crazy. And I just happened to find this and I thought, mm, this will be something fun to open at some point. And then when Upper Deck released their uh, take on Fleer Ultra, I thought it'd be a nice thing to put them together, break them open at the same time. And of course, to coincide with the launch of uh, Spider-Man Homecoming this weekend. So let's open it up and see what's inside. So we'll start with the uh, 1995 first. I'm all out there. I vaguely remember buying maybe a pack of these back in the day. And look, they're $2.39 per pack. And I thought that was super expensive. $2, that's that's crazy. So, that's, oh, they're actually like these uh, long fat rack packs. So there's actually like two sets of cards up top and then at the bottom. You didn't realize that, all right. Of course, we've got the box right here. Not going to get rid of that because it's like a relic from 95. <laughs> Packs fell, so. Alright, so let's start with these. Then we'll also break this open as well. Okay, so <laughs> let's do this 95 Fleer Ultra Spider Man versus 2017 Fleer Ultra Spider Man. So let's start with the 95 first. So we've got Carnage USA, huh. got Daredevil, the Venom Flows, Warrant, even I don't know who that is, Puma, the shoes? Nope. <laughs> Electro, uh, Spider-Man, and I forget who that is, I think that's Solo, a uh, gold signature, foil signature series. Uh, Spider-Man with a symbiote. Nice. Goldheart. Chakra. Vulture. There's a lot of cards in this bag. Hawkeye. Alright, cool. Let's start. And then let's open up a 2017. Okay. So I've got Carnage. So the art style is kind of similar. Uh, they're like premium renditions. Uh, see the card stock is very different. Here's the 95. It's like paper thin and then we've got this uh, 2017 Fleer Ultra, which is like super thick so. Paladin J. Jonah Jameson a uh, metal card of Moon Knight and Beetle Any of these number? Nope All right, So there's 2017 
I like how there's a thing in the back, kind of holds them together. So. Alright. Hard shell. Punisher. Nightwatch. Stegrin. Fake parents. What? Oh, right. I think there's that crazy repeater. His parents came back. It's kind of odd. Oh. And then we've got this uh, golden web card, which is a chrome finish of uh, Craven. Neat. Uh, White Rabbit, Green Goblin, Medal of uh, Iron Fist, Daredevil. Oh, numbered. It's actually, as thin as the originals. And this one is numbered to. Uh, oh, this is a buyback. Oh, okay. This is actually like a card from here, from this set. And it's a buyback, and you've got like a red Spidey stamp right there. And it is numbered to uh, one of 30. I can't wait to actually pull this card here, and then that'll be kind of awkward because this one's supposed to be rare because it's a buyback, but we bought it back here. So. <laughs> All right. And then uh, Speed Demon. Boy, I'm forgetting who my Spider Man villains are. I mean, I remember all the Doc Ox, the Venom, the Carnage, all those, but like those, like, one issue off villains that only ever show up, like, ever so often. Oop. Right. Oh, looks like we got a pretty good one here. Uh, might as well start with that. It's uh, Iron Man against Venom. I guess this is like a hologram card. You can barely tell from the light, but. See, there's the effect right there. The 3D effect. Well, that's cool. I'm guessing that was the hit of that pack. Okay, what else was there? Craven. Jackpot, Calypso, Silver Web thing of Moreland, Mobius, Morbius, and uh, J. Jonah Jameson. Love the backs of these because they've got like those old power rankings. Spider Man should be like tops on all of them. Just saying. Alright, in the symbiote. Oh, there it is. <laughs> so there's the regular Daredevil card. And here is, this is not numbered from 1995. And then we've got this uh, supposedly rare buyback, but you know what, James? It's fine, it's fine. It's cool, so. Regular buyback. I'm pretty sure this is the first time that's ever happened where someone pulled the regular card and then also got the buyback <laughs> from a later product, so. Uh, that's funny. Okay, then we've got a uh, golden web of Vulture. And it's also chrome finish. I'm guessing they weren't refractors too, so yeah, well. Alright. Vulture, Civil War, Spider-Man Unmasked. Another medal of uh, Nova, although this looks like Kid Nova. Darkhawk and uh, Agent Venom. Jane Jones Jameson, Carnage. Oh, this one, Spider-Man Masterpieces. It's of Carnage. And it's a limited edition of three of nine. Not actually serial number that. It's actually just the third card in set. But, anyways, Black Panther. Oh, we got like a metal in every pack, pretty much. Is that the case? Metal Rhino. Then we got a uh, oh Ex Century MJ. That's cool. Um, no, it's it's not numbered, but oh, that's dope. Mary Jane Watson and uh, Luke Cage base. We're getting fake parents a bunch of times. Tombstone, Gambit, Morbius, and then we've got a uh, golden web of the uh, Hobgoblin. And I think that's it. 
uh, Cold Heart, Deadpool Across America, because why not just have Deadpool and everything, uh, Metal Wolverine, Lizard, which is signed by Teixeira. Is it Mark Teixeira? Yep, it is. You receive a trading card signed by Mark Teixeira. It's numbered 43 of uh, 49. Well, that's cool, and it's of the lizard. I guess it's a bad guy I recognize. <laughs> All right, that's dope. So I've got a, a Venom, I mean Carnage in America, <laughs> uh, with the uh, gold foil signature. Let's see. And I guess that was the uh, hit of that pack. Oh wait, nope, there's something here. And we have got a limited edition uh, clear chrome card of the uh, Hobgoblin. So it's like an acetate, but chrome card. So you can see right through it. Ooh. Okay, Shocker, Spider Woman, Darkhawk Silver Web Thing. Cosmic Spidey and Green Goblin. I always love Cosmic Spidey. I wish they did that more. One of like the better characters, variant Spider-Mans out there, just because it's super powerful. But I'm biased. All right, Nick Fury. Old Nick Fury, not Sam Jackson Nick Fury. Scarlet Spider, Clawhide, Black Hat, Solo. Carnage in America, Statue of Liberty messing it up. Black Hat, uh, Demon Goblin, Sandman, and Masterpieces Venom. There we've got Menace, Spider Gwen, Mysterio, Daredevil, and Jessica Jones. Totally different looking from the Netflix Jessica Jones. Alright, that was all base. Silver web parallel thing. Uh, gold foil signature. Let's see. Looks like the hit is always in the back of that top row. So here you go. Put that in a different order. So Rhino, Spot, Symbiote Spider Man, Hobgoblin. The end. Right, Cosmic Spidey. Tony Island of Carnage, Venom, just a lot of Venom, a lot of Venom and Carnage, because that was like the big deal back in the days. And then a uh, hologram, hollow blast of uh, Dr. Octopus and Spidey. Right. Uh, Jack-o-lantern, Carnage, Symbiote Spidey. Chameleon and uh, Doppelganger. Alright, since so there's two more packs of the uh, 2017, let's kind of open the rest of the 95. We'll do it like in one big stack. Also, kind of wanted to just break under. 20 minutes, probably won't do that, but yeah. <laughs> There's five more to go. There's so much. Yeah, 1995 me is like totally freaking out, like opening this boxes back then. You know, you just buy a pack or two, and you're like, opening boxes. So we've got Calypso, Venom, and then we've got this uh, my, my Masterpieces of uh, Spidey. Man, they really love their chrome back in the days, even Fleer. Hmm. Gold Signature, Jack-O-Lantern, Hobgoblin. So of course one of the problems with these cards from back in the days is like now they're pretty much sticky, stuck to each other. Uh, we've got this uh, Craven Clear Chrome, 
which is stuck to the uh, checklist. <laughs> Let's see. And then we've got another uh, vulture, golden web. So it looks like the gold signatures were always like one per pack. Got a bunch of those already. The death of Gwen Stacy, which was always a bummer. Especially now that they've retconned it a couple times. No comment. Although we do have Spider Gwen now, so that's not always the worst thing in the world. Uh, I've got Golden Web Spidey by Joe Jusco. That is an awesome card. Love the look of it. Of course, it's a Jusco piece, so that's cool. And then we've got a uh, Masterpieces by uh, Carnage. And then it looks like the cover of the box. Spidey Masterpieces. These cards are just stuck to each other now. They've been just packed in for so long. 22 years is a long time to not be open. So. <laughs> All right. And we've got the lizard. Okay. Crazy hits. It's only gonna sort through these later. Kind of parse through like some of the cooler stuff. Checklist. And then we got another clear chrome that's stuck on the checklist. Uh, Doc Ock. Tarantula, uh, Black Cat, Golden Web, we've got a Masterpieces, uh, Spidey, wish they had made refractor version, because everybody does refractors nowadays, Just no one even <laughs> bothers with that stuff, and uh, Carnage, Carnage, Golden Web. I think I missed the hollow blast thing right there when I was opening it, but now we'll get to that later. So, all right, so last two packs of 2017. Spidey, I think the two hits we've gotten is the autograph by Teixeira and the uh, MJ EX Century. So, all right, Doc Ock, Burglar, Mysterio, oh, and the buyback, and uh, Clone Saga, and Ezekiel Sims. I don't know who Ezekiel Sims is. <laughs> All right. It is the last pack we got here. Uh, Master Weaver, Demon Goblin, Deadpool Across America, <laughs> uh, Precious Metal Gems of uh, Morlin, and Hobgoblin. And the Morlin is number two, 199. So to recap, uh, 2017 Flare Ultra Spider-Man is heavily influenced by 1995 Flare Ultra Spider-Man. There's a lot of similar subsets, inserts, but obviously there's a lot of the modern trappings that collectors look for these days, which are low number cards, autographs, and all that other good stuff. So you'll see here um, in 1995, they used the uh, Legacy, which is a trio of cards that connect, kind of form a puzzle. 
and they kind of do that also in the uh, 2017 set with stuff like this on a thicker cardstock so you'll see they combined right there and then in lieu of the gold signatures that were one per pack in 1995 upper deck used real signatures and also replaced them with a uh, silver foil web cards parallels which were fall about almost one per pack but if not they were replaced by uh, metal cards which have been a staple of a lot of uh, Marvel upper deck product and then of course the base the design is very similar instead of the gold foil on the uh, 95 you got bronze on here the uh, gold foil is reserved for rare cards like the autographs and stuff and of course in 1995 you have all of these chrome cards which you don't see in 2017 instead you get other uh, retro FLIR inserts such as EX Century, Jambalaya which I didn't get unfortunately but oh well. I wish they had the Hollow Blast though. Wish I had pulled that one. I think I've seen those in the 2017 but these are cool. And then we've got a <laughs> Juggernaut against uh, Venom. That's pretty awesome. So yeah I hope you guys appreciated this uh, trip down memory lane because I sure did. So that was uh, 2017 and 1995 Fleer Ultra Spider-Man. <laughs> Thanks for watching, everybody. Uh, this is Juan Martinez. Oh, wait. This is another favorite of mine. The uh, Carnage USA versus Deadpool across America. It's one of my favorite uh, things about these sets. Even the backs are very similar. I guess in 95 it was Venom, I mean it was Carnage that was trolling Spidey, in 2017 it's Deadpool, so. Alright then, so, hope everybody enjoyed that, this is Juan Martinez of the Easyville Network, don't forget to go check out patreon.com slash easyville, consider subscribing, we've got a lot of exclusive content there, uh, giveaways and all that good stuff, it's how we keep the lights on with the network, and of course, how we fund, how we fund these box breaks, so. Enjoy, and yeah, I'll see you at the next thing.